My name is Brian Imrak. I'm from Devonport in Tasmania. And uh, the car that we've built, uh, which was built by Deluxe Rod Shop in Yea, is a 1934 Chev, four door sedan, uh, Australian bodied. And uh, yeah, it's just been a seven year journey to uh, get it to this stage. The journey started out that I ended up with the car by default out of uh, a friend of mine in Victoria that uh, never had uh, uh, time to finish uh, the car that he'd started, which was this one. Um, so I bought it from him, never intending to build a uh, show car, more was intent on building a nice four-door sedan, hot rod, just a driver. Anyway, it's gone a little bit sort of uh, further than what we had ever envisaged because Stephen, the car builder, said to me, look, this is such a good car, being steel body and original, he said you probably should do it justice and rather than just sort of have it as a, as a street car, use it as a show car first, then put it to a street car, So, which is basically what they did, so that's been the journey. The engine uh, is a, an LS2, LS2 with a little supercharger on it, um, then uh, put a six-speed gearbox in it because just because I thought it would be a little bit different. Uh, most people seem to run for the autos, which is probably more sensible, but I had the gearbox, so I thought, oh, well, I might as well use it. Uh, we run a uh, Ford 9-inch diff in uh, the back end of it, uh, running a set of Willwood brakes. Um, pretty well, um, everything sort of standard, almost Commodore-ish, if you like. But, uh, you know, it's basically Chev on Chev. Yeah, well, not, not really. What it, what it started out, it was, it was a nice car, and Stephen sort of said that it needed to be built uh, to a, a good standard because it was a rare car. Um, I never envisaged that it would be a show car. Um, it was all basically, so like I said, uh, going to be just a, a nice street rod. Um, I'm not a street, uh, rod person, never really had been, more of a street car. And, uh, you know, grew up in the muscle car area and sort of trying to drift back to that in your older age. But uh, this has come along and uh, Stephen was very passionate about, you know, re retaining it and making it good. And because of his passion, I sort of got sucked into the journey with him a little bit. And, uh, of course, consequently, we got that far down the track with it. We realised that there was no going back. We might as well make the best of what we've got and uh, enjoy it.